The Roman province Syria Palestina, the Byzantine Palestina Prima, and the Islamic provincial district of Jum Philistine. These were the official names of the south of Canaan post the fall of Judea and prior the establishment of Israel. Following the migrations of millions of Jews after World War II to this land. But what most people don't know is that this name was actually designated to refer to a specific group of people. The Philistines were an ancient people living in the south coast of Canaan between the 12th century BC and 604 BC when they were exiled by Nebuchadnezzar II to Mesopotamia. According to biblical tradition, the Philistines came from Kaftor, which is possibly Crete, although there is no archaeological evidence of a Philistine occupation of the island. The first records of the Philistines are inscriptions and reliefs, in the mortuary temple of Ramses III at Medina Tabu, where they appear under the name Psirst, as one of the sea peoples that invaded Egypt about 1190 BCE after ravaging Anatolia, Cyprus, and Syria. The exact origins of the Philistines is not agreed upon but the most plausible proposition is that of an Aegean origin for these people. Although it is important to note that there is evidence from a slender corpus of brief inscriptions from Iron Age and Tel Asafi that demonstrates that during the local Iron Age, the Philistines started using one of the local Canaanite dialects. This is evidence that the local culture started taking over. Recently, DNA extracted from the remains of 10 individuals buried at Ashkelon, which is an ancient Philistine port city in Israel, can give us clues to where these people came from and to what extent their admixture came from non-Canaanite sources. The study analyzed DNA from 10 sets of human remains recovered from Ashkelon across three different time periods. A middle slash late Bronze Age burial ground which predates the Philistine presence in the area and contains infant burials from the late 1100s BC. Following the arrival of the Philistines in the early Iron Age, which has individuals buried in the Philistine cemetery in the later Iron Age. The analysis of the remains of people from three different time periods would help to pinpoint the exact time when the supposedly foreign settlers arrived to the coasts of the Levant and how long their genetic legacy survived. The middle slash late Bronze Age individuals possessed a local admixture with no foreign influence which proves that prior to the arrival of the Philistines, the region was inhabited by local Semites. The clues to where the foreign settlers came from came from skulls of four early Iron Age infants buried beneath the floors of their late 12th century BCE homes in Ashkelon. The children possessed European-derived genetic material, suggesting that infants had recent ancestors that may have arrived from overseas somewhere in Southern Europe. This foreign Southern European admixture 
will soon disappear in the remains of the later Iron Age, which indicates that the new arrivals soon mixed with the locals until their genetic legacy faded away by mixing with the numerous Canaanites. In terms of Y DNA and maternal DNA, the two Bronze Age children carried haplogroup J, which was present in Phoenician burials, and haplogroup R1, which is a typical European haplogroup. Their maternal DNA was T2C1C, which is present in Southern Europe, and H92, which is also typical for Southern Europeans. This could be evidence pointing towards a sizable migration of both males and females. So, in conclusion, the study proves that a group of seafaring people migrated and settled in the region and mixed with the locals until they met their final fate in the hands of the ancient Mesopotamians.